There's a swirl, swirly thing on the screen. I want the, I want the cat. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, I love her. She is so precious. She has a little maraca in her hand. Or no, it's her magic wand. <gasps> She's so talented. Hello and welcome back to Moonstone Island episode number six here on Copeland Plays. Good to have y'all back. Today's like the episode we've all been waiting for. Let's be real. Because we are finally... And capital F, finally. Getting the frickin' spirit barn. So we can start actually building a team. I am psyched. We're gonna water up our crops. Another thing I'd like to do is maybe find more mines on our island. Though, wh why would I do that when I can just adventure to other islands and see what I can find out there? Also, what else can we make here? We can make a mirror of introspection. used to view the skill tree. Oh, cool. Interesting. Main way of transportation for an alchemist, way faster than a broom. So we need wood, iron, and moonstone. Good to know. How much moonstone do we have? We have two here. So that's all we have as far as moonstone goes. So walking around at night, like adventuring at night, will be really useful. Because if you guys remember from last episode, we like if the grass is glowing, there's moonstone in the grass. And that seems to be one of the fastest ways to farm it. Hey kid, your mother and I completely forgot to tell you about moonstones. You'll need to find them for alchemist recipes. They're easy to spot because they glow at night. They are terribly rare though. Only one moonstone appears on each island. Your mother wants to add that you should eat your vegetables and go to bed at a sensible time. Great advice from our mother. But we do need moonstones. I might go to Zed's place later. He's always got the coolest stuff. Good old Quill standing in the middle of town so that we can build our relationship with him. How handy. I kind of wish I would have waited for... Also, the, the hi-hat kicked in the song. Kind of fire. I wish we would have waited for our Iron Ingot to finish so we could also finish the Freya quest, but we're going to do that as well. So, how do you figure out new alchemy recipes? It seems like magic to me. Of course I know it's science. Let's turn in our research. Research? We're getting the freaking spirit barn. Thank you. I'll analyze the data and send a letter. If I find something interesting, keep up the good work. Um, did that not complete the quest? Wait for the letter from Zed. So that's when we're finally gonna... God, we have to wait another day to get the spirit barn. I'm actually gonna, like, lose my mind having to wait this long. But we will get through it. Let's go grab the iron ingot. It should be done now. Go to Freya and we can finish that quest as well. The progress, guys. We've, we've been working at these for so long. 922. It's so late. Okay, never mind then. So, let's look at our map, actually. And let's figure out what island we'd like to go to. Go all the way out to there. That wasn't that useful. This one was was pretty good. Oh, no. That, those guys were quite strong. There's this island over here. This one was good. Kind of would like to keep exploring this one. Yeah, we never even went to the teleporter over here. Okay. Then that is where we will go. It's so close to 922. I want to finish the Freya quest. Hey, Fridays are my favorite shop and then i want to i want to sell her number three getting into metal thank you just in time too here's another recipe for you this is for an anvil anvils are useful in making protective charms and you'll need some with all those environmental hazards out there okay so apparently there are islands out there that set you on fire better you than me so that is how we keep ourselves invincible on the outer islands like that shock island so how do we get a anvil actually like what's the recipe for it three iron ingots can i buy iron ingots from farah actually also we forgot to talk to her so let's talk to her as well Ooh, we struck out today oh we have an extra talking chance i forgot about that we got that in the last episode do you just sell basic materials you do not you only upgrade materials good to know Rowan sells seeds and fertilizer, so he doesn't sell any ores. So let's go to the island on our right. But there's Cleo. I would love a hobby. I doubt I have time for one. I don't really either, Cleo. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to, like, how this video is going to get made. I'm not too sure at the moment. I'm just doing the recording portion right now, but that's it's only a fraction of what it is. 
honestly, this whole week, I might, might have to take a little bit of a break from uploading because I have an exam at the end of the week and then another exam at the end of next week and a lab that's due at the end of the week. I have a lot. I have too much stuff, dude. I'm not excited at all. I need to do a lot of schoolwork. And it's just, I don't like it. I'm not, in, I'm not enjoying it. Let me know. I've, I've, I've been having this revelation in my life of late. Do you, as like students, feel like you go into a class and leave like more excited about a topic? Because I've never felt that way. I've always walked into a class and felt like, like I hated it afterwards. And I just assume that's like how everyone feels. And you're just like the one you that you like is just the one you hate the least but i don't know how true that is for every single person or if that if i'm just like suffering or everyone else is not suffering as much as i am but i really don't know especially chemists we seem very um i don't know like i don't i i, I never talk to a chemist that like likes chemistry we all hate it and we're just we're just stuck are we on a poison island that's gonna poison us it's like it looks all stinky why is it all stinky? Let's get cleanse. I think cleanse is honestly the best talisman. Like, ooh, a little, little mushroom boy. Should we try to see what it's up? We didn't get a warning that the, the stuff was too high level for us, right? Yeah, okay, we can deal with this stuff. Look at Marsha. Marsha's so cool. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Did we not get the skill that lets us capture up to level 10? Yeah, we did. We totally did. What the heck? I'm, I must be confused or forgetting something. So let's... I think the best thing to do is to make sure you get as many dizzies as you can. I don't know what Spore does. Also, oh man, I wish I had another bash instead of this tackle. But I'm going to use this tackle on him. And then we're going to have to end our turn. Okay, so I have 10... Whoa! The damage is insane. And they can just bypass all of my armor? Oh no. Okay, so I can stun you. And I can stun you. But that's it. My whole team's just gonna... I'm donezo. I'm actually donezo. Like, we're, we're, we're donezo dusted. Why does the combat always go so badly for us, guys? The only thing I can do... At this point is run. If I get away, ah, oh, if I got away that turn, I would would have lived, but we're we're done. I feel like I should just restart the day. That feels cheaty. What would you do? Do you think I should restart days? Let me know in the comments. Because I kind of just want to restart the day. I won't because I want to get Zed's thing. Also, I should have upgraded my stuff in the medallion if I was going to be adventuring. The game's kind of right about that. But honestly... I don't, the thing was, I don't really care about this stuff because I just want the spirit bar. And then I can actually do upgrades. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Zed, just checking in. You turned, discovered already 10 spirits. Fantastic news for my research. As a thank you gift, uh, might help you with spirit hunting. These spirit lenses let you see a spirit's level above their head. Have fun. If you have time, come back to the science center. I'll give you another research task. Uh, so you didn't give me the recipe for the spirit barn? I thought that was our deal. Wait for a letter from Zed. In return, he'll give me the spirit barn blueprints. Return research at the science center. Wait for a letter from Zed. I got the letter from Zed. What? Did I just get debated by this guy? Or is this the letter? Thank you for taming a higher level spirit for me to study. It turns out the spirit level correlates to microscopic biological changes in its body, which, well, I won't bore you with the details, but it's all very cool and interesting. I asked Paolo to drop some blueprints for a spirit barn you can use. It's a place to keep and raise your spirit, so you can tame more than three of them. You'll also be able to craft spirit nests and stalls to hatch them and feed them. You can find the recipe in your Moonstone Enchanter. This is huge. This is huge, guys. Rowan here, I run the general store. I have a favor to ask you. I've been inspired by the way you live with harmony with spirits, just like the early days of the old kingdom. I think we should all follow your example. So I'd like to uh, help with your spirit companion. Just make sure you check your mail. Everyone is going to take turns to ask you for their spirit match. You should be getting the first letter very soon. 
okay. So we gotta play like matchmaker. So there's probably gonna be certain spirits that like match certain characters. What do you think Quill's spirit's gonna be like? It's probably gonna be like a big rock man. Yeah, yeah, big rock, strong rock boy. He's kind of like dumb as rocks. He likes digging holes. Okay, so the more we talk to them, we'll be able to learn little little bits and bobs. Spirit Barn. One moonstone, one iron, 100 stone, 100 wood. Spirit Nest. I can't use a spirit nest right now. A stall that can be used to house one spirit. Food should be placed in the stall once per day. Can be placed in the spirit barn. So we need to get a lot of wood, a lot of stone, some iron and some moonstone that doesn't seem super easy for us is there any iron left down here i have a feeling there's not oh my goodness we got bailed out okay let's get the three iron oh the moonstone's gonna be tough though we're gonna have to i don't know walk around at night i guess just like forage at night to find it so i don't know i mean that's how we came across our last piece other than that, how have we found it? That I actually don't know. Because we have quite a bit. Have we found it in dungeons, maybe? I think we may have found it in the dungeons. Okay. Iron is sorted for the spirit barn. Now it's just one, literally one moonstone nugget. Oh, yes. We totally have just found them in, like, in the bushes on islands and whatnot. It does say glows at night. So maybe let's wander around some islands tonight. It's Saturday night. I'm kind of bummed. I wanted to go to like the bar, see what happens there. But maybe we'll hold off on that so that we can try to get the moonstone. Because dude, the number of episodes I've been like, this is the one where we're finally going to be able to get the spirit barn. And then it's like, oh, but you didn't, you have to do six more quests. Also, we never actually checked in with Zed about the, so the first letter was a different letter than the, there was two different letters, essentially. And one letter came to us for some reason, while the other one we had to go to someone's mailbox for, which is, frankly, a bit confusing. What is this, by the way? What is this weird X? Is it treasure? I don't want to kill it if it's a plant. But is it supposed to be like X marks the spot? Like there's treasure down there? I'm going to go to the island to the right. Because maybe we can find something there. That's kind of my thinking. I don't think we explored that island that well. And it, it's a big island. So it, it feels to me like there should be moonstone there. Also, keep your eyes peeled for moonstone. There could just be moonstone around here somewhere. Hot spring. Wait a minute. Yeah, this hot spring also regenerates. That's what the little sizzling pots on the map are. I think I may have said it in the last one where I'm like, I don't know what those weird sizzling bowls are. I think something I need to internalize is that these teleport obelisks aren't necessarily there to teleport you to a similarly difficult area. They're there to teleport you like to a new, more difficult, further away area quicker, which is very useful for, for a lot of players. But for me, as a very weak player, that's not going to be that helpful. Also, I'm going to pop open the medallion now to make sure... And raise this guy's health, honestly, is the big one that I want to do. So your vitality was a little sad. Oh, you only have one? Ten fire damage is good. And fluff ox as well. What do I want to do with you? You're not really my bash pro. I kind of just want you to do more damage... And maybe have a little more armor. Brawl Plus is good. Brawl Plus is really good, I think. Actually, no, it's not. Because I remove armor kind of from one person at a time. Therefore, I mean, 10 damage to everyone's going to overcome some armor. But it's really only going to be like chip damage. Also, how do we use these, these study talismans? Feed to a spirit to add a card to their deck. Okay. Or remove cards from their deck. So should I feed him a talisman? I kind of want to. Let's feed him one. And let's get rid of something we really don't like. So what is something we really don't like? Honestly, peak. Whenever I pull peak, I just feel silly. For some reason, I thought it was free card draw when I took it. 
And it's just so bad. It's obviously if I was running like a combo deck, but I'm not playing combo. So it's like whatever card I want to play is basically getting plus one cost to be allowed to play whenever. But I don't have a card valuable enough to make that worth it. Also, I love being able to see the levels now of the enemies. That's super nice. That I really wish we've we had had that earlier, but we'll we'll make it. We'll survive. I'm not like dying to fight anyone. Level one Fluffox? Is that what that said? I think it did. Let's check this out. Level one? Yeah, level one. Okay, so you can find really low level encounters here. So it's probably levels one through five. So this is where we also found our level five Dusty. Let's play this and then we can play this. Uh, choose two cards to exhaust. Choose a card from your discard pile to add to your hand. I'm okay with this. So I can exhaust both these. They won't come back up. And then I can add a bash to my hand and use it. Hey, that kind of worked, guys. I made an okay play. Like a beyond basic play, I guess. I didn't do my spiel at the start, so I'll do it now. But please consider subscribing. We're trying to hit 50 subscribers by the end of the year. We are at like 33. No, 34. We're at like 15 away. So... 15 subscribers away. I think we can do it. I think we're actually going to smash that gold. I think I, I kind of undersold myself, but 50 just seems like such an insane number. I remember uploading videos to like three subscribers for so long. And I was like, I hope I can just get 10. All I want is 10 subs. And then I got like 10 subs overnight when I upload my first F0 video. And we've been We've been rocking and rolling ever since on the channel. I've just just never looked back. And it, yeah, thank you all for subscribing. We've, we've definitely got a couple more from this series. People seem to be liking Moonstone Island. I'm loving Moonstone Island. I can't put this game down. I would, again, really, really, really enjoy having the Spirit Barn so I can actually start doing the Pokemon mechanics. Because right now, like, being stuck with a team of three, you, like... I don't know, it'd be like playing Pokemon stuck with a team of three. Like, it just, it seems awful. Let's just peek at the map here. Nothing around this island. And I also didn't find any Moonstone. But I don't really want to leave. Like, what if there's Moonstone just in the grass? And I, I don't want to waste my energy. So I don't really want to leave. So what should we do while we're here? Just wait? Oh, Magic Man. Look at that. Magic Man heard my prayers, was like, you bored? You need something to do? Magic Man has arrived. Boop, boop, blup. I'm trying to learn English with Fishbo, Fishbo Jr. here. Boop. Oh, Fishbo. That's what his fish is named. This is a Fishbo channel from now on. Anything else for us, old man? You've got this potion, but we can't can't do anything with it. Let's look for glowy now. It is dark enough for stuff to glow, right? Because our character is glowing. So let's see if we can find some glowing moonstone. If not, we will maybe try a different island. Also, it doesn't look like there is a single moonstone on this island. Yes, there is. Look at that, guys. I told you. I told you. I told you this, this island was ripe to have one moonstone on it. There was just something about it. There was just something about it. It spoke to me. And I knew it. I am the best. What What did I do? I hit a button and the music changed? Wait, what? Wait, what? One, I got a mushroom. Why is there a swirly on the screen? Is that... what? You're new... There's a swirl, swirly thing on the screen. I want the, I want the cat. Wait, 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 wait. Please, please don't let the cat despawn. We gotta let Dusty go. Again, already. Let go. Yes. Because I want the kitty. Have we, we, have we had this discussion? Magic cat. Have we had this discussion on the channel yet? I love kitties. Big cat guy. Apply five burn. I think it, this is going to be open. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh my gosh, I'm such a fool. I do this every time. I just di dizzy them before I, I... You can't tame stuff when it's dizzied. 
Anyway, we do get Magic Cat. I am so excited, y'all. I don't know why I even just end your turn, dude. Just just hang your head in shame and catch Magic Cat. Oh my gosh, I love her. She is so precious. She has a little maraca in her hand. Or no, it's her magic wand. <gasps> She's so talented. Feed? Wait, feed Flax Flower. Yes, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was like, what? Why didn't I tame him? <gasps> Hello, magic cat. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love cats. Oh my god, so cute. I love white cats too. It's like a, it's a top, it's a top color. I have three spirits from three different biomes following you. This is a different biome? This feels like the same biome we got Fluff Fox from. Unless possibly the purple circle has something to do with it. Oh, absolutely. It's not raining. These are like magic crystals falling from the sky. Whoa, cool. Yeah, look at that. There's another like special special enemy. I can't I can't catch you right now, so I really don't want to mess around. What I do want to do is get my moonstone in my furnace. Uh play the play the flute. Play the flute. Play the flute. Um You've already used warp whistle today. I have? I didn't think I had. That's weird. Okay, well, I, I actually think I'm going to be okay, though. I love our new cat. I always want to call White Cats Princess. I just think that's the name for all white cats. You can you can argue with me, but I just think that's the name. I did my Minecraft world. I have a cat named Princess who's white, and she is very special, and she has a little pink collar, and she was my first cat I ever found in that world. It might be why I like white cats honestly i love the minecraft cats they are just so they're so perfect they got like good cat energy also i just realized we never put the iron we mined up into our furnace after we got it so it means we're not gonna have the spirit barn right away at the start of the uh start of the day we will get it we will get it how much does it cost to craft a furnace actually how desperate am i it's so cheap it is so stinking cheap. Do we have... I don't have the resources on hand. Yeah, I do. I do. But I don't have the the, the stone and wood or the spirit barn on hand. So that's another thing we're going to have to add in the near future. I don't know why I didn't think about making more furnaces. They're insanely cheap and insanely slow. And then we will just toss in a little bit of coal and some iron. There we go. So now, tomorrow morning, we just have to bake up one more piece of iron. And we'll be in. All right, let's go to sleep. <laughs> what was that? Why couldn't I walk in my door? Anyway, let's go to sleep. You think we got any level upgrades? We might have got a combat upgrade, actually. Because we did a lot of fighting. This episode is going to be such an awkward length. Like, for me. Because I am going to do the next day. But I always like to end the end of a day. Though I've been editing the video. So, it won't wind up being an hour-long video. I'll just have to edit an hour of footage. Which is a lot more work for me. But whatever. Rowan has told us that you're pairing us up with spirits. I'm your first client. How exciting. I'm seeking a spirit that's some kind of wooden creature. I've seen illustrations of the spirits in Cleo's book. Its name is something like Oak, Oakley, Oaktifer? I forget. Do not worry, I will not turn him into a chair. He will simply represent the embodiment of my craft. Adios and gracias, Paolo. I bet he wants a long, a long log. That's, that's what I'm going to bring him, which is pretty easy. We can do long logs. We also got... One iron, two iron. Wait, we already have the... Th oh, no, we don't. We got the moonstone. 915 for our morning furnace. Yeah, and then we're done. Then we have the spirit barn, right? Oh, no, no, we need stone and wood. Yeah, 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 we need stone and wood. Do I have the stone? I have the stone. I just need the wood. Tree chopping go. And dun, 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 dun. We're going to need a lot of wood also. We need a 100... 
We have eight. You think we'll be able to do that with just today's energy? I actually doubt it. I think that we'll need to use some of our like stone fruit or something. So that's fine. So I had to eat a couple stone fruit. We're at, oh, we're at 100. We're at 100 wood. Let's go. Okay, we have 100 wood. We have 100 stone. The iron is done smelting. Guys, we're there. We're there. We are spirit barn owners in a matter of seconds. I'm so excited. I cannot be more excited. Come on. Come on. I'm getting so excited. I'm clicking on the wrong things. What are you doing, you fool? Give me. Give me. Yes. Yes. Spirit barn obtained. Oh, we've been waiting way too long for this. Should we set it up near our house somewhere? The the tilled farming land stops me from placing it? Am I going to run out of energy? No, I'm not. Oh, no, it's not the... F this. It's this one? There we go. Now we can place it. Let's place it right on the water. Once you place your barn, you can't pick it up and craft another one. Are you sure you want to place it here? Yes, I do. Right next to my house. So we never have to go far to check on our boys. Let's go, everybody. We got a freaking spirit barn. I also just realized it's like blocked. How am I going to make the, the thumbnail? And I can't pick it up. Oh, that's tragic. Oh, that's so, that's so bad. I'll get over it. Let's go. Let's uh, hatch our first egg in there. Also, I believe we need some cloth because we need to craft those hatcheries. Is that what they were called? Oh no, it was in our Moonstone Enchanter that they had that recipe. Here's that recipe, Spirit Nest. Oh, we don't have any wood though. Also, we just needed fiber. We didn't need the cloth. So we can take these into here. Oh, and place them here. I see. Huh? I'm a little confused here. So first, let's put in our Earth Spirit Egg. Also, we got mushrooms. I wonder if mushrooms just show up at night. There we go. So what is this weird bowl looking thing oh it's the it's where we put their food so what do you think we maybe we feed them fiber i kind of doubt it but i imagine we're going to need to get a couple more of the troughs yeah spirit stalls so that's even more wood a stall that can house one spirit food should be placed in the barn or okay one spirit food should be placed once per day it can be placed in the spirit barn Interesting. Does anybody know what spirit barn or spirit food is by any chance? Because I definitely don't. And I'm kind of guessing it's going to be important. Maybe not, actually. But it does mean... Does that open up more slots or do we just have all these slots unlocked already? Also, we're running out of um, energy very quickly today. We can just keep pounding stone fruits. I'm okay with that. I hope it's not going to be one of those things where I'm going to like regret eating all these stone fruit in like a couple days, but that happens. You know, it's always your first playthrough. But if you guys do know tips and tricks, I like I like tips and tricks. I'm always cool with with having like I don't want spoilers as far as like here's how to do something the most meta way possible and. If you're not doing it this meta way possible, that's like kind of counterintuitive. Like if it's just like a basic thing where it's like, yo, by the way, like you just buy spirit food from Rowan and it's like, oh, okay, thank you. I'm I'm fine with that. I'd rather not have to Google that for myself or whatever. Also, could just like the townspeople tell me townspeople aren't that like chatty. Or at least they're not that interested in like telling me things, which is fine. Is it fine? It's fine. So... Then the second nest can't be placed for some reason. So I'm guessing we need another one of the troughs. Let's see what happens when we get another trough. Or it's a spirit stall. It's not a trough. It looks like a trough. Like your feet. Yeah, it's a trough. It's a trough. Ah, okay. There we go. So that is how it works. And then we can place the nest down. So the nest. Let's go back to our moonstone enchanter. So the spirit nest allows to use to hatch an egg placed in an empty stall. Ah, okay. So we don't actually need the nest down. Can I pick it back up? Maybe I can pick it up with this thing. I cannot pick it up. No! Does that mean I can't catch something right now? I do not 
know, and I would kind of like to know. I wish I would have left. Should we just get more wood? Dude, this just became wood today, but that's fine. I am going to have to eat even more of my stone fruit, but I have a bunch back in my base as well, so I'm not too worried about that. Also, I wonder if any of the villagers like stone fruit. I bet Quill does, because he likes rocks. Or he's dumb as rocks? Haven't quite figured that one out. Also, I'm like kind of in the realization that like I have to go study after making this video, and I'm I'm a little sad. Because I never like study. It's so boring. They should make it illegal. Actually, no, they shouldn't. I th I'm actually in the camp, even as someone who doesn't love school. Homework being banned is just going to lead to dumber people. Like, obviously, it would make school easier. But I don't think it's, like, one-to-one -one where, like, your education quality is going to be the same if you don't have homework. At least for certain classes. I do think homework should be abolished for the classes that don't need it. But there are classes, I think, that do. That are structured in a way that, like, like a math class. Homework's, like... The least amount of time you can spend for the most possible reward. Like, homework is not just a thing they're, like, throwing around. It is because of that repetition, like, repeating stuff at different points in your day is very helpful for stuff like arithmetic. Whereas, I, I mean, English classes, does it make you a better writer to write multiple times a day? That I actually just don't know. Or is it more like, if you just wrote every day in class, whatever writing you get done... Hopefully that can build you into a good writer. I'm not sure. Let's pick up 10 cloths. It seems like cloth's a big crafting component. So we'll grab some of this. We'll grab a little bit of this. Oh, I did not even go into my spirit barn. I went into my home. So can I walk around this side? I can't walk around this side. That's what I wanted. That's kind of how I wanted it set up. So I can just quickly go from one to the other. Let's go into our inventory. Let's place down the spirit stall. And then let's go, I really want to go catch something, but I don't know. I have the stamina probably. I just need to figure out where I need to go. That doesn't have anything that spawns. It would be over here. It's going to be too, it's going to take me too long to get there, I think. So maybe we won't catch something and put it in our spirit bar. That's going to have to wait for the next one. We do... We do have our um, whistle, though, so I'm going to try. Hey, Zed here. Very important request. I'm doing experiments that require spirit resources. They are rare and valuable materials dropped by spirits when they trust someone. As you raise the spirits in a barn, feed them, care for them. They should provide you with these materials. And when you bring them to me, if you have any to spare, I'll make it worth your while, of course. So I do know this. So spirit poop, essentially, that is how we get the clay to move on up the spirit temple. So, getting an earth spirit is very, 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 very important. Hey, Ophelia, how's the spirit hunt going? Pretty good. Look at that! We got a pass on every single one. You seem a little happier today. I am a little happier today. Can I just ask anyone on a date, or are they allowed to say no to the date? Because if I can just say, or invite anyone to a date, that would be kind of fun. Maybe? I don't know. Also, we definitely shouldn't go to the Outer Islands, but I'm doing it anyway. I got a yearning for adventure. Also, the worst thing that happens, we just wake up a little bit later. I wonder if any uh, new Moonstone spawns here. Like, you think that storm thing makes Moonstone spawn? Also, uh, any enemies want to spawn? Possibly? Hello? Everyone on vacation? Enemies most certainly spawn here. We've had a lot of them. There we go. What the heck? That was crazy. So what do we got? A mumbleweed. Oh, he's so cute. Kind of looks like a Tangela from Minecraft. From Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse. Oh, Magicat. Magicat. This card is insane. Whoa. Thank you, Magicat. Deal five damage, remove one armor. That's what I should have used, but doesn't really matter. Though he would have been able to play Magic Cat's card. I didn't even look at Magic Cat's deck. It's probably fire. Oh, we need to capture this guy, I just remembered. First try. 
Mumbleweed has been tamed. Let's go. Magicat gained seven experience. Fluffox. Okay, cool. I need to look at Magicat's deck. Maybe we'll do that next one. Alrighty. So let's let's whistle home. That's a banger right there. The brr, brr. Oh yeah, it doesn't actually put us immediately at our house. I need to remember that. Because one night I'm gonna like teleport home at two and then just pass out there instead of making it back to my farm. Alright, so let's see if Mumbleweed is in our barn now. Mumbleweed is in our barn, did not go into the nest area. Good to know. Follow me to another stall. View cards and stats. So he's an earth, earth type. Oh, he might be able to drop clay actually. So we have to figure out how to feed him. And with that folks, I think I'm just gonna fill up our furnaces. You know what, maybe we'll, we'll poke our head into town. No, it's too late to like meet anyone actually. I think we're just going to end off the episode. Thank you so much for joining me. We got the spirit barn. That's huge. Been a, just a big part of the game I wanted to get to. We obviously need to find a better way of getting wood. So actually, might mean that these uh, copper become an axe upgrade next episode. Probably going to have to do that. As well as that, we've made it two weeks into the game. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like the video, please like. Consider subscribing. We're trying to make it to 50 subscribers by the end of the year. And without further ado, take care. Oh, wait. I'm going to remember this time. Don't sleep before. Er, don't end the episode before you sleep. Because you never know if you're going to get an upgrade. And this time we did not. Okay. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.